doing today? Thumbs up if everyone's doing pretty good. Awesome. So if you don't know me, my name is Miss Erin. My friends, let's talk about how we're going to talk to each other because this is a great big group class. And because it's a great big group class, Miss Erin can't hear you, but I can see you. So we're going to talk a little bit differently today. We're going to use our hands to communicate. So if I ask a question and the answer to that question is yes, let's give me a great big thumbs up. All right. Can everyone do that? All right. Very good. Excellent. Now, if the answer to a question is no, thumbs down. Excellent. Very good. And what will we possibly do if the answer to one of my questions is a number? We are going to use our fingers. Very excellent. So my friends, now that we know how we're going to talk to each other, let's go over our rules, okay? Miss Erin has four rules. Rule number one, I will talk. Remember that's using our hands. Rule number two, I will listen. Rule number three, I will look. And rule number four, I will have some fun. All right, very, very good, my friends. All right, so now we have our rules and we know how we're gonna to talk to each other. Let's make it Monday. So we are gonna do something super fun. Okay, we're gonna draw a really cool picture a little bit later. But first I'd like to know how everyone's doing today. And we're gonna use our fingers to do this. So if you're feeling maybe <clears throat> a little angry about something, hold up one finger. And if you're feeling maybe a little sad about something, two fingers. And if you are feeling a very, very, oh, sleepy, three fingers. And if you're feeling very happy, four fingers. And if you are super excited, five fingers. So how are you feeling today? Miss Erin's feeling super excited. And it looks like I have some happy and excited friends with me today. But if it happens that you are maybe feeling angry or sad one day or sleepy, there's something that we can do to make ourselves feel a little bit better, okay? So what we do is we take a great big, huge deep breath in and we go, and then we blow it back out. We go, we're going to blow out all the sad, angry, sleepy thuds. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to go. And that just helps make us feel a little bit better. So anytime that you're not feeling happy or excited, take some deep breaths. It's going to make you feel much more better. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? So let me start by asking you a question. Do you know how many months there are in one year? Some of my friends are giving me a thumbs up. Some of my friends are like, mm, not too sure. Well, it's January, it's a brand new year. It's the first month of 12 whole months. So there are 12 months in one year and January is the first and we are almost finished this month already. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the months of the year. So most months of the year have either 31 or 30 days in them besides February. February is a kind of cool month because February usually has 28 days in it besides when it's a leap year. Has anyone ever heard of a leap year before? No, so a leap year happens every four years. And when leap year happens, February has 29 days in it. So there are 365 days in a year, except for leap year. Then there's 366 days in a year. So let's take a look at all the months. So January, which is where we are now, has 31 days. February, 28 days, unless it's a leap year than 29. March has 31, April, 30. May 31, June 30, July 31, August 31. 
September has 30, October has 31, and we all know that on the 31st of October is a pretty cool holiday. November has 30 and December has 31. So there are 12 months with 365 or 366 days in a year. So let's talk about these months. January is the first month of the year. It begins on New Year's Day. It has 31 days. And if you're gonna write months, sometimes people use an abbreviation, which is just a way to shorten it so you don't have to write the whole word. So it's J-A-N and every time you use an abbreviation, you need to put a little period, okay? So January's month is number one because sometimes people even use numbers to say what month it is. All right, February is the second month of the year. So do you know what number February might be? What, what month? What number is this month, do you think? It's two, because it's the second month. All right. <clears throat> and February usually has 28 days. And we have Valentine's Day on February the 14th. Our next month is March. That is the third month of the year. So what does that mean for what number is this month? is three. Very good. Now, March always has 31 days in it. The abbreviation is M-A-R. And we have St. Patrick's Day on March 17th, which is usually everybody dresses up and wears green. All right. April is the fourth month of the year. Okay, so what number? Four is the month number, very good. April always has 30 days and the abbreviation is APR. Now, did you notice that the abbreviations are the first three letters so far? Yeah, it is, very good. All right, and April is when springtime starts. And that's always a fun time of year. All right, May is the fifth day, the fifth month, I'm sorry, the fifth month. So its number would be five. That's right, very, very good. Very excellent. Let's see what else May has 31 days. And its abbreviation is May, because May is only three letters, right? Yes. All right. And Mother's Day is in May. So that's a great day to start to really show mom how much she means to you. So Mother's Day is super important. I love to spoil my mom on Mother's Day. It's really, really fun. All right. June is the sixth month. So what number is June? It is six and has 30 days. And the abbreviation is J-U-N. And never forget that period at the end of your abbreviations, okay? And guess what begins in June? Summer begins in June. Yes, it does. All right, the next month is July and July is the seventh month. So if you're gonna write July as a number, what number are you gonna use? We are going to use the number seven. Very, very good, excellent. And there's something else fun that happens in July. July has 31 days is that the 4th of July. So on the 4th day of July is Independence Day. So a lot of people go and watch fireworks and have picnics. It's a way to celebrate our country's birthday. So super fun day for July. Our next month, my friend, is August. So let's see what happens in August. So far, there's something cool that happens every single month, right? Yes. So August is the eighth month. So if you're going to write this month as a number, you're going to use the number eight, right? Yes. August has 31 days. And it is the last month of summer. Ah, oh, 
that means it's going to start getting cool out the next month. And who thinks that they know what the next month is? We have done January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. All right, September is the ninth month. So if you're going to write months as a number, you write the number nine. Has 30 days, and usually school begins in September. So that's pretty exciting. You finish one grade and you go into the next. Usually school begins in September. Super duper fun. Now the next month is October. This is Miss Erin's very favorite month of the whole year. It is the 10th month. So you would write it as a 10. It has 31 days. And Halloween is on this month. And that's why it is Miss Erin's favorite, favorite month. I really, really like it. All right, we have two months left and there's lots of exciting things that go on in the last couple of months of the year. It's kind of like a party to celebrate the end of the year, kind of. All right, November. November is the 11th month, 11th month of the year. It has 30 days. And guess what? Thanksgiving happens in November. I love Thanksgiving. In the last month, super fun month, 12th month of the year. Very, very cool, 31 days. And it has Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all kinds of super duper fun holidays there. So that is all of our 12 months. And I know, whew, that was a lot of talking, wasn't it? <laughs> so I hope you all have some paper and some pencils ready. Has everybody got everything they need to get started with some writing? We're gonna start, we're gonna spell some words today. So I'm gonna give all of my friends just a second and we are going to start with some writing of some very simple three letter words that you should all know. And Miss Erin's going to help you do the first one together. And then you're going to work on some of these on your own and show me. All right, my friends, are you ready? Here we go. All right, so do you see this picture right here on my screen? It is a moth. Okay, moth. So we're going to use these letters right here. And we are going to use the sounds that the word makes to find out which letter goes first. So moth, mm. what is that? What is that? Mm. Moth, what letter is that? Yes, very good. I see several of my friends showing me. It is the letter M, because M makes a mm sound. So next we're gonna use these letters and find out the next letter. So, mm, oh, oh, what is that? Oh, yes, I see my friends doing this. It's the letter O, excellent. And the last sound in mop is mop. He. Excellent. Very good. So M O P for the word mop. Awesome job. Very, very good. So next, I would like for you to try this one and you write the word down. So this little boy right here is running. So the word is run. Er, uh, no. Run. And Julesy is coming to say hello this morning to everybody. She likes to come and say good morning sometimes when we're having class. So run. Er, uh, mm. So what is the first letter? Er, er. What, what letter do you see in these mittens here that makes that er sound? Er, uh, mm. Er, uh, mm. What do you think it is? Er, uh, mm. er, uh, mm. I'm gonna give everybody a minute or two to write down the word run. 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 See, I see some of my friends holding their papers up and you have the right answer. 
So r, a, n, r, u, n, r, u, n, run. All right, are you ready for the next one? All right, let's see. This time it is a bag. B a g. B a g. B a g. Aaron's chair keeps going down and down and down. All right, b a g. B a g. Everybody working very hard. Very good job. All right, let's see. I see lots of my friends have the correct answers. So, b, a, g, bag. Very good. Excellent work, my friends. Let's try. Let's try mad. She is mad. M, a, d, m, a, D. Mm -hmm. D. All right, most of my friends looks like they're done. So, mm, a, d, mad. Very excellent. Let's try this next one. This is the doctor that works on animals. It's an animal doctor. And the name of that is a veterinarian, but we're just going to say vet. Mm, a, t, mm, a, Vet. Okay. Use the letters down here to determine what the best letters are to spell that word correctly. Vet. Oh, you're getting good at this. You're getting faster. Very good. V e t. V e t. Vet. V e t. V e t. All right. Let's try one more. Fox. Ox. Ox. Right. Uh, uh. 
What what is that sound? Uh, All right, my friends look like they're done. Oh, very excellent job, my friends. Awesome, you should pat yourselves in the back. You know how to do that? You reach your hand out, you bring it all the way over and pat yourself on the back for some very good sounding out of your words. And I saw some very nice handwriting there today. So that is awesome. Now we are gonna work on some math and we're gonna do some addition. And remember when you add, you're taking two numbers, putting them together to find out how much they equal all together. We're gonna use a number line today. We have done this using our fingers in drawing pictures, but today we're gonna to use a number line. All right, so let's start with one plus one. So if we have one and we add one more, how many do we have all together now? We have one, two, okay? So one plus one would go in the number two igloo. One plus one equals two. Now what about two plus zero? So if we start on the number line, we have two, but we're adding nothing. So two plus zero also equals two, right? Yes, very good. Some of my friends seem to know this pretty well already. So two plus one. So we're gonna start at two and we're gonna move one spot on the number line. And now we have three. So two plus one goes on the three igloo. All right, let's try the next one. All right, let's try this together, okay? So we have five plus three. So we're gonna start at five on the number line. And since we're adding three, we are gonna hop ahead three spaces. One, two, three, which means five plus three equals eight. All right, my friends. So what I would like to do is for you to try four plus two. You try four plus two and you show me how or what your answer is and use the number line, okay? All right, so four, we're gonna hop ahead. One, two, six. Four plus two equals six. Very good, you are getting the hang of this. All right, two plus six, what do we have? What is two plus six? Hmm. Two plus six. Two plus six is, let me change the color. Two, and we're gonna hop ahead six. One, two, three, four, five, six equals eight. Two plus six equals eight. Very good job, my friends. All right, we're gonna do the next one. And this time, I would like for you to do this one and this one. And I want to see what you come up with on those numbers, okay? Give everyone a few minutes to get this done. All right, so let's see. What do we have, my friends? So we should have four plus five equals nine. Yes, awesome. And three plus four is seven. 
my friends, you are amazing. You are so good at this. Awesome job. Now it is time for our Make It Monday activity. And for our Make It Monday activity, we are going to draw a cool polar bear. And you can draw your polar bear as a girl or a boy. It's your choice, but you're going to have to listen, 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 and follow directions. So does everyone have paper and maybe pencil colors or crayons? Um, a regular pencil is fine, too, if that's what you have. Anything you have is going to work for this. So let's get started. So let me take a look at your finished polar bears. I can't wait to see. I know they're not colored yet, but that's okay. But you can color them later. So let's take a look. Awesome job, so amazing. You know, are fantastic little artists. And don't forget, you can always sign up for small group classes with your favorite daily school teachers any day of the week, seven to seven. And those classes are a little different because they're smaller and we get to talk back and forth and those classes are super duper fun. And if you're not enrolled in daily school, we also have school programs that go all the way from pre-K up to the sixth grade. Yay. I hope you come right back and see me tomorrow. So have a great day, my friends. Bye. I will see you next time. Hi there, go ahead and click right here to try your free Dailies Pods class. You can also watch more classes and meet our teachers. Before you leave, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on those Facebook and Instagram logos to visit our pages for more fun learning activities.